guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter four, lesson eight. We're going to go ahead and get started. Before we get started, you should pause this. You should write this down at the top of your paper, at least the letters up here. Okay, we remember this is dirty monkey smell completely bad or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? It means divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. Those are our steps for division. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. You can pause this, do whatever you need to do to make sure you can write it down. Okay, really all you need is the letters as long as you know what they mean. Okay, so I am going to at the top of my page. Write those down so that I remember my steps, okay? Because using the partial quotients is really hard for kids, and it's not a skill they need to know past this, so we're not going to do partial quotients. We are going to just do the division, okay? So on scrap paper, I'm going to write down the problem. Okay? To give myself a little bit more room. Okay, and as long as you're showing your work, they don't care if it's on scrap paper or not. You just need to take a picture and send it in too, okay? So, six is not going to go into two. Six will go into 25 four times. That's my division. Multiplication, four times six, 24. Subtract, that's my subtraction, okay? I'm going to have one left over, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my check. Checking just means checking whatever you have subtracted, your answer is smaller than the, quote, the dividend, okay? So one is definitely smaller than six. I'm going to bring down my eight. Six goes into 18, three times, three times six is 18. I'm just repeating the steps, okay? So my answer for this is going to be 43, okay? There's your work, okay? So next, we're going to go over to number three. Okay, you can pause that, write down your work, and then push play again. Okay, all right. So, five into 630. Okay, five will go into six one time. That's my division. One times five, five. That's my multiplication. Subtract, have one left over. Okay, now my checking is checking to make sure that one is smaller than five. It is so I can bring down my three. Five will go into 13 two times. I see how I'm making sure also that I'm lining up my answers over the number that I'm dividing it into. Okay, so five will go into 13 two times. Two times five is 10. Subtract, I get three. Okay, three is smaller than five, that's my checking, so I can bring down that last number. Five will go into 30, six times, six times five is 30, subtract, get zero. Okay, my answer for this one is 126. Write down your work, it's important, okay? You guys are going to do the same thing here. All you're gonna do is put the, the numbers in the box like we've been doing, okay? Super easy, guys, okay? All right, we are gonna go down. Um, you guys are going to, okay, you're not gonna do partial quotients and you're not gonna do the rectangular models or partial quotients, okay? You're just gonna divide, okay? So we're gonna go down and do number 10. You guys are going to do all the way through nine on your own, you totally can, okay? All right. Allison took 112 photos on vacation. She wants to put them into a photo album that holds four photos on each page. How many pages can she fill? So whatever it is, is going to be in pages. Okay. So 112 divided by four. 112 photos divided by four on each page. Okay. Four is not going to go into one. I'm going to put a placeholder. Four will go into 11. Two times, two times four is eight. Subtract, I get three. Okay, now three is smaller than four, so I'm going to bring down my two. Four will go into 32, eight times. Eight times four is 32. Subtract, get zero. Perfect. 
perfect. So your answer will be 28 pages. Okay? All right. Hector saved $726 in six months. He saved the same amount each month. How much did Hector save each month? So whatever it is, is going to be in dollars. Okay? So 726 divided by six months. Let's do it. Okay? All right. Six. We'll go into seven one time. One times six is six. Subtract. Get one. Okay? I am using different colored markers so that you guys can see each step that I'm doing. Okay, if you need to do your homework in colored pencils, as long as you can see your work, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bring down my two. Six will go into 12, two times, two times six is 12. Get nothing, perfect, okay? Now, zero is definitely smaller than six, so I'm going to bring down my last six, and six will go into six one time, one times six is six, subtract, get zero, perfect. So, $121. Okay? Make sure you show your work, guys. Okay. We're going to go over to the back where you guys will do the lesson check, just like always. Okay? And we're going to do the file review. All right. This says, what are the partial products of 42 times 5? Which is just, if we did the box, 40 plus 2, and then 5 on the side, okay? So 5 times 4 is 20, add that extra 0 in, and 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 and 200, okay? That's it, guys. Don't make it harder than it's got to be, okay? All right. Mr. Watson buys 4 gallons of paint, $34 per gallon. How much does he spend on paint? Well, 34 times 4, okay? And whatever it is, it's going to be in dollars. So how much does he spend? That's in dollars, okay? So 4 times 4 is 16. Carry that one. 4 times 3 is 12 plus one more. 13, $136, okay? All right. Use the area model to find the product of 28 times 32. So let's write in our answers, okay? Two times three is six, plus one, two, zero. Two times two is four, plus one, zero. Eight times three is 24, plus one, zero. And eight times two is 16. So now, over here, I'm going to line up and then add. Easy, guys, okay? All those zeros and a six, four plus four is eight, plus one more is nine, and six plus two is eight. So, 896, okay? An adult male lion eats about 108 pounds of meat per week. How much does meat does the adult lion eat in one day? So we need to take that 108 and divide it by seven days, okay? Because this is in a week, but one week is seven days. So I'm dividing it by seven. Okay, seven's not going to go into one, placeholder. Seven will go into ten, one time, one times seven, seven, subtract, get three. I can bring down my eight. Seven will go into 38, five times, five times seven is 35, subtract, get zero, sorry, get three. Now, it says about how much meat does he eat per day. So I would say about 15 pounds because I have a 15 up here. So about 15 pounds. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.8. Come on back for 4.9. See you soon.